the middle of making a riata or a lasso, as you're probably used to hearing it. Um, riatas are typically made out of rawhide, four braids plaited together. It could be more than four, but at least four. And uh, but mine's made out of paracord. I'm going to show you where I'm at and uh, what I do next to it to finish it up. Right now, I am halfway through making my riata. Got one end done. Put a little Turk's head knot on the end of it and flatten it through. What I did was I started in the middle, which is here, so I would have the least amount of, you know, so I wouldn't have to deal with all the strands at one time. This up close here where you can see what I'm doing. We've got four strands here. So what I'll do, if you notice how this one's overlapped in the front, so I'll go to the opposite top of that one, which is this string. I'll bring it behind, under one, over one, and back in the same direction. The strings always go back in the same direction. And I'll just go, since that one's overlapping now, I'll go to the opposite top, swing it around the back, under one, over one. Keep intention on those as I go. And I just continue that, and continue that, and keep going, and keep going, and keep going. This whole thing's gonna take a few, quite a few hours actually. up taking some of my wife's socks and uh, sticking them around these bundles because when they're twisting around and banging all together uh, they kind of fall apart on the edges here so that, that helped.
getting close to the end here. I don't have a whole lot left, a lot of string left in these socks at the end. When I get to the end, I'll show you how I finish and put the, uh, the Honda knot in and uh, tie the uh, Turk's head in the process of making. Megan can have her socks back. When you get down to the end with just a few inches left, a few inches left so I could tie the knot in it, Turk's head, I just take a little electrical tape, wrap around the end of it so it don't unravel while I'm doing my knot. working but what I just did was I took a pair of pliers and then I traced these little lines and I pulled them tight individually went all the way around and did them pulled it nice and snug and then I can take that tape off and that's the uh, Turks head knot at the end of it left is to put a burner inside the handle loop. And I've got this piece of leather here. I've had it soaking in water to make it a little bit more flexible. Hopefully that'll do the trick. My video cut out on me yesterday so I couldn't actually show you what I was doing but when I finished was I put a uh, leather burner in that Honda knot. The, uh, <laughs> first time I've done that so you can tell I kind of winged it but, but it works I may end up waxing it sometime in the future but um, I don't have that stuff right now so that's pretty much it time to go try it out
liked this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.